was all song and dance at the Lesedi Cultural Village, a mock setting that showcases different indigenous South African cultures. But in reality, at least four of the country's kingdoms have been experiencing debilitating succession disputes. Among them, the Balubedu, Pavenda, Abatembu, and Amampondo royal houses. Meanwhile, in Nongoma, KwaZulu Natal, the country's biggest monarchy has been plunged into crisis. Since the death of King Zuelitini and Queen Mantomfi last year, rival factions have been claiming to be the rightful heirs to the Zulu throne. Until this past Saturday, there were three contenders for the Amazulu throne. King Misu Zulu, Prince Simakate, and Prince Buzabazi. But Misu Zulu has now been crowned king and has vowed to bring unity. Without providing names, King Misuzulu claimed there had been a dirty hand belonging to outsiders that had attempted to divide the Zulu nation. But according to one independent cultural analyst who attended Beku Zulu College alongside some of the royals, contestation for the Zulu throne is nothing new. It's something that has always been there in the in the contestation of who becomes a king. You went to school with Prince Makati, right? Uh, so you mm -hmm. know, so you know his personality. Do you think you will accept this uh, decision following what happened? Uh, well, uh, knowing him uh, from school, he was a very humble somebody. I would say that uh, the way the princes were brought up in a Zulu culture, respect is a very supreme uh, principle. While King Mrs. Zulu has struck a reconciliatory tone throughout his address, he couldn't resist reminding observers that he has the backing of the democratically elected government of South Africa. South Africa, Umsonishwa, Umatamela, Ramaposa, Uguba, his difficulties, of course, he was Kondisa Namingo. King Misuzulu Gazwelitini has officially become the ninth Amazulu monarch.